everybody, welcome to Australia and welcome to my first report in English. I'm sorry, I will probably do some mistakes. So, what is the plan this week? We are between Sydney and Brisbane and the goal is to find Saifos. I'll show you a picture right now. It's a small cute lizard. Um, so we walk all the day, it's really hot and we will probably see a lot of animals. Enjoy the trip! I'm Katarina. Hi, I'm Ivan Beltran. Um, this is my field work and they are helping me to catch the lizards for my PhD in Sydney. That's a lizard from East Australia with very short limbs. It can walk but moves like a snake to be faster. This population lays eggs. They can lose the tail which can move and attract the predator while they run away. Okay, so here we have one cyphos and we are going to know what is the sex of this animal. So for that we lift a bit the cloaca and as you can see they have a very uh, obvious huge shape with two bulbs bumps in the in the base of the tail that are probably um, the hemipins so this species is very difficult to sex but that's how we see it's a male C'est un grand lace monitor, le deuxième plus grand lézard d'Australie. Il peut dépasser 2 mètres. Il se prélasse souvent sous le soleil matinal et parcourt 3 km par jour dans un territoire d'environ 65 hectares. Il se nourrissent d'insectes, de reptiles, de petits mammifères, d'oiseaux et de leurs œufs. Ce sont des habitués des aires de pique-nique où ils volent la nourriture. Ils peuvent quand même être effrayés par l'homme dans la nature et se réfugier dans les arbres. Ils savent très bien grimper. Écoutez. Celui-ci est vraiment fâché. Leur salive est pleine de bactéries qui peuvent causer des infections, mais elle contient aussi un peu de venin. Il ne faut pas se faire mordre. Laissons-le tranquille. Look what I found, a blind snake which was burrowing. The head is indistinct from the neck, but we can see the eyes, very tiny and very rudimentary. It uses to feel the vibrations. They eat ants, the eggs and larvas. They use this hooked spine on the tail as a anchor or a digging spike to push through hard soil. Là-haut, dans les arbres, les perruches royales jouent. Leur tête rouge nous indique que ce sont des mâles. Les femelles ont une tête et une poitrine verte. « 
C'est une espèce endémique de l'est de l'Australie. Elle est assez répandue, mais a cependant disparu de certaines régions où l'eucalyptus a été arraché pour faire place à des arbres non autochtones. Elle est connue des élevages, mais peu répandue. En anglais, on l'appelle « king parrot » parce qu'elle a le même caractère qu'un perroquet. Joueuse, active, douce, elle peut imiter nos voix et même apprendre quelques mots. Elle est très intelligente et se prête facilement au jeu. I introduce to you a kookaburra, typical bird of Australia. Listen to his singing so special. He uses it to mark his territory. Like all the kingfishers, it waits for the passage of his prey to melt on it. Mouses, big insects, lizards, small birds, and especially snakes. It can attack the nemo snakes larger than him and kill them by hitting them against the ground. Look at this eastern bearded dragon, basking under the sun. His beard is used during reproduction, that's one of the around 75 displays recorded. Beard erection, head bobbing, arm waving, push up, head licking, body inflation, biting and color changing. The scales under the eyes protect them from sun and dust. Celui-ci, c'est un Eastern Water Dragon, très commun vers les points d'eau dans lesquels il plonge chaque fois qu'il est dérangé. C'est le dragon le plus ancien d'Australie. Il mesure généralement un peu moins d'un mètre et se nourrit d'insectes, de grenouilles, de vers, de petits lézards, de fleurs et de fruits. This baby Eastern Small Eye Snakes was found under a rock. We find them usually on the surface only at night. Adults can be around one meter. They don't use to bite human, but the toxicity of the venom can be quite high in some populations. They use it to eat lizards, some small snakes and frogs. They live in East Australia, that's not a surprise to find one here, because they like forest and humidity. This one thrashes about weirdly. They can also hiss loudly. That's a red-bellied black snake. It's dangerous because of his venom, but it doesn't use to bite. It can be around two meters and a half. Look at it, this one is very big. It has a home range of around one hectare, and they can live by small groups of pregnant females and bask together by a creek. In the spring breeding season, males spend a long time moving within an expanding home range of around 70 hectares. They fight with the other males to determine mating rights. This snake wanted to eat the frog, but his poison was too powerful and it died. That's common, and studies speak about an evolution of snakes, which are bigger with a smaller mouse to only eat frogs that are not big enough to kill them, but these frogs are bigger and bigger too. Le crapaud buffle a été introduit en Australie afin de réguler certaines espèces de coléoptères qui détruisent les cultures. Malheureusement, il n'a pas eu l'effet escompté et à l'inverse a détérioré l'écosystème. Non seulement parce que l'une des espèces visées est rarement au sol et donc rarement à sa portée, mais également à cause de son venin puissant qui est la cause du déclin de beaucoup de populations de reptiles. Nous le suspectons d'être l'une des causes de la disparition du Saifos dans cette zone. <truits>